Well, imagine if we could take a cell which is adult, maybe scrape my skin here, scrape the inside of my cheek, something like that, an adult cell, and coax it, just nudge it, nudge it, nudge it backwards, backwards in time to a primordial state. And we can do this. We can do this at Michigan. We can take these skin cells from a human being. We can nudge them backwards in time. And we can then nudge it forward in time, sort of in fast forward motion, and we can create a fully developed heart cell. And that heart cell will beat in a dish. It beats with a rhythmicity, just like the person's own heart. And then we can create two of them and four of them, and eight of them, and 16 of them, and 32 of them, and so on. So to me, this was just unimaginable. Those beating heart cells have the same genetic composition as the person whose cheek was scraped. And then, if we make that pulse a little bit more rapid, we can create an arrhythmia in a dish, a chaotic tornado of electrical activity in this lawn of your own beating heart cells. Now I can sprinkle on, you know, 10 different types of medicines. I can see if any one of them works to stop it. That's what we can do here at the University of Michigan. We have the best arrhythmia research group on the planet, no question about that. I, I think the pace of change in cardiovascular disease is certainly much more dramatic now. At Michigan, there's this sense that anything is possible. Uh, if we see a problem, we will attack the problem. If you go from the basic science departments to across the medical school, to the School of Engineering, to the School of Public Health, you see all of these bright minds, faculty, uh, postdoctoral students, uh, students, nurses, staff. Harnessing all that creative energy could could create a revolution, it is creating a revolution here. People work so hard to take what we do to the cutting edge. I think, I think people who work in this cardiovascular center are they sense that the, the institution, the talent, the donors, the moment is unique. And to be part of that is absolutely contagious. It's like the most rapid illness you can imagine, to be in a place where the culture embraces all of those values at the same time, at this moment, in history is unique. It's a reality here. We don't hit the banner every time we run through the tunnel, but we want the patient to succeed and get better every day. Every day is a Wimbledon final for us, a Masters final for us. Every single day, we want to win.